Hello everybody, it's Jeff from Ballworks Entertainment. And today we're going to be working with Blender 2.79a. Go over the mirror modifier. This is going to be a short video and it's for beginners only. This is not for an intermediate or advanced blender. Just to get you started. And the mirror modifier will cut your workload in half as I'll show you here in a minute. So go ahead and load your blender program if you don't have it. I suggest you go check out the tutorials including what mine that shows you how to download it if you don't have it. So let's begin. First of all, let's get rid of the splice screen. Let's go ahead and left click that out. And I always delete the, the default cube, which is right here. Just hit X. That's one of your hot keys and left click to delete. We'll have to add another cube, which come down here, bottom left screen down here, as you see where I'm at and hit add. Go to mesh right here, come over all the way back up and insert another cube. To start this out, we want to go into front view. Just hit one on your numpad and five to make sure, as you can see, I click, hit my numpad on five. You have orthographic view and perspective view, but we want orthographic view. Just hit five. To get started on a mirror modifier, you want to hit A to make sure that you got the cube highlighted and then come down here at the bottom left where it says object mode you want to left click on that with your mouse and come up to edit mode and as you can see it highlighted your cube orange and we want to go back to the front orthographic view so hit one then five again make sure you see the squares the little squares as you see around it now we're back into this view that we want to be in the front or the graphic view. So to use the mirror modifier, we want to split this cube in half. To do that, you just come over here and you could either subdivide it and it divided the cube in four, as you see on each side, control Z or control Z to go back to get rid of that move. We could either do that or put a loop cut right over here on the left right here subdivide loop cut these are the two just right click and it'll center your cube and just just hit a and what we did was just split the cube in half what we're going to do is we want to get rid of the either the left side or right side whatever you feel comfortable with doing I always work on my right side of course I'm right-handed and left-handed people might want to use the left cube so what we're going to do is hit a to highlight the whole cube again make sure it's an orthographic view again by hitting one on your numpad then five until it comes up with all the little squares as you see and we're going to come down here right beside it where we put it on edit mode we're going to come down here and put it on wireframe now wireframe you can see through the cube and i hit a to unhighlight the whole cube and i a to highlight it again but what we want to do is delete and I'm going to delete the left side as you can see I can pull the cube you got a three-dimensional view of the cube what I'm going to do is I want to lasso these vertices these four right here so you see I'm pointing with my cursor I want to lasso that by hitting holding the control key down and then using your left mouse button hold it down and you can lasso as you can see those vertices and I highlighted that side of the cube so what I want to do now is I want to delete those vertices just hit X and that and it will say delete what do you want to delete vertices edges faces well the vertices are the little points or the little dots the edges of course the edges right here the lines as you can see on the cube them are the edges and the faces of course is the f face of the cube front back sides bottom go ahead and delete like I said the vertices hit X and left click on the vertices now we're going to add the modifier we come over to the right and there's a little wrench over here and I'm going to highlight it by putting the arrow over the little wrench and it says modifiers just left click on that with your mouse and then come down to the drop down menu 
and you're going to come over here and as you can see there's many modifiers I'm going to try to go over all of them or most of them for that part and right there it says mirror modifier go ahead and left click that and as you see the cube was just highlighted with a little fate on the left side where I deleted this now reappeared but it, you don't have to work with this side all you have to do as I'm going to show you is work with the right side so what we're going to do here is we want to go ahead and highlight this cube again and we want to take it out of wire mode and we're going to just come back here and work with the solid and come down here that's what I just came down here and did the wire frame and the solid and down to the bottom here there's three little squares down here the left square here works with your vertices this is your left point right here just right click on them that's your vertices the middle cube right here is your edge is at your edges and of course we're going to work with the face and I'm going to show you what we're going to do is extrude this face out to extend it not extend the whole cube just hit E to extend as you can see and I'm just moving my mouse after hit the E and it extrudes the left side too see so you're saving half the work so if you're building a character and just for the sake of it just hit E again hit move this face out and move this one see I didn't extrude that one see just say that's the head but as you see it the left sides being completed just like you did the right side so you don't have to do both sides there isn't much to the mirror modifier like I said but it does save you to work it's very simple but if you work at it you'll be able to complete your models in half the time and be more productive well I hope this video helped you out this is Jeff from Ballworks Entertainment signing off